welcome to Disney Day. Four. Look at how cute this is. If you ever can get a reservation a half hour before park close, we actually can walk onto. Make sure if you have not already that you subscribe. I love you. So today we are headed back to Magic Kingdom, two days in Magic Kingdom on our vacation. So I wanted to do a quick little outfit of the day. This will be like my morning. It's a little chilly right now so I have a long sleeve on but I brought a tank top just in case. My shirt is from Old Navy. My high-waisted like paper bag shorts are from H&M. Again, the same shoes, these like cloud comfy shoes. And then my ears are actually from someone on Instagram. Her name is Daphne. It's Soren over Main Street Co. I'll have her website linked below. You actually can't just buy her ears. She opens her shop like every either like Friday or Sunday and they normally sell out within minutes. So I had these made and they're absolutely beautiful they're so cute now we are headed off to magic kingdom for the morning and then we're going to be coming back here to hang out by the pool because we've already done magic kingdom but we have our dinner reservation at be our guest tonight which i am so so excited about so we will take you guys along for the day today is the first day that we do not have to run to catch the bus so we will see you in magic kingdom we have made it to Magic, Magic Kingdom, Kingdom again. Quick little Starbucks morning. I got a grande iced caramel macchiato and it is absolutely delicious. Corey got a... Black coffee, very yep. hard to make. Yeah, very hard to make, but he is a black coffee drinker, so we are gonna relax, sit at the same view that we did in our last vlog. I'll link it here if you didn't have the chance to watch it and just have a great last day at Magic Kingdom. Cheers. Magic Kingdom to me just never gets old. It is like your your inner child just I feel like completely comes out when you're here. So I am very excited to be back. We're gonna hang out in Fantasyland. Peter Pan has a maybe I think it says five minute wait. So we're gonna hop on Peter Pan. It's one of our favorite rides. So let's hop on Peter Pan. Peter Pan. We just rode Peter Pan. The ride, the line for Mine Train was really long, like probably 70 minutes, so we have a lot of time today to get it done. So we are gonna ride The Little Mermaid and then we're probably gonna stay in Fantasyland for a little bit and then we are gonna head over to Tomorrowland and ride Space Mountain. Space Mountain has a really long line. My assumption is a lot of people come into the parks and run to the biggest rides because they think they're going to be longer later, but they're the ones in the park, so they're the ones that make the lines really long in the morning. We actually can walk onto Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. If you haven't seen before, I'll link below my last vlog, but Corey kicked my butt last time. So now, we are going to head back into Fantasyland, take some photos, my cute ears, which I'm excited about, and yeah, we'll just keep you updated on what the rest of our day looks like. I love you. Just walked back into Fantasyland. We took some photos in front of the castle. I am on the hunt for a balloon. Nowhere to be found. We're gonna hang out in Fantasyland and see what the line is for the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. So we just finished Seven Dwarfs Mine Train and now we are gonna do Fill Our Magic in Fantasyland before we start a Magic Kingdom food tour for the afternoon. We're ready. Now we are at Friar's Nook and we're gonna start our little mini food tour here. We ordered the buffalo chicken loaded tots. We also got the bacon mac and cheese. So excited to try that here. And then we're gonna head over to the storybook treats to get some ice cream as well. So we'll show you what our food looks like. Creamy bacon mac and cheese and it's topped with onions, bacon, and sour cream. And then we got the loaded buffalo chicken tater tots which are Sour cream, celery, buffalo chicken, tater tots. Mac and cheese is 
Good. Look at that. As you can probably tell, we uh, definitely really liked it. I think this is some of my favorite food that we've had so far in Magic Kingdom. Secured the goods. A strawberry sundae. Look at how cute this is. Yeah. A Peter Pan lime dole with float. This is really cute. Which one are you most excited to try? Oh, the float. Is it refreshing? Is it good? Like now it's time for strawberry sundae. This is really good if you like things that are really sweet, really, really sugary like me. I love that fake strawberry like syrupy taste. For the Peter Pan float because of the Sprite, so it's really bubbly and like sudsy is not the right word, but it's it's fizzy, fizzy. We're gonna walk this all off. All the way to Frontierland to go to Pecos Bill right by Splash Mountain. So we will also show you what we get there. Now we are at Pecos Bill picking up our tacos and nachos. And then that will conclude our morning at Magic Kingdom. And then we are going to come back in the afternoon after we do some swimming at our beautiful resort. So we just made it into Pecos Bill and we got the ground beef nachos covered in stuff. And then one pork, one beef, and one carnitas taco. I'm gonna give these nachos a look. <laughs> Those are pretty good too. The nachos. What do you think? I mean, I feel like they're standard nachos. Yeah. Standard nachos, but really good. We have made it back to our resort. We are going to get some sodas. We bought these like really cool refillable mugs, and I think it was like 20 bucks, and it's free refills for as long as you're here in the, with the mugs. So we are back. We're going to refill our mugs with some nice cold Diet Coke, probably. And then we are going to head over to the pool for a few hours. Finished up at the pool, showered, and are ready to go back to Magic Kingdom. I did like a nice little curly hairdo. So we left the hotel, we've made it back to Magic Kingdom, and we are gonna do some shopping before our Be Our Guest dinner reservation. We have a reservation at 8.30, so we wanna make sure that we spend some time just shopping, relaxing, walking around. We've basically ridden like every ride in the park, so we don't need to do any more rides, but now we're gonna take you along because we're gonna do some much needed shopping. shopping. Yay! We were pin shopping because we're gonna collect pins every time we come to Disney and look at the one that we picked. So cute! So far we're doing some damage. I have this for my nephew who loves bubbles. I have a little mini. What do you have? I have a new golf hat. Oh, a new golf hat. Okay, what else do you have? Um, oh, these we have been dying to try our whole vacation. Raves. Yep. Goofy candies. One raves. And then I have the, the, the pin. Oh, and then our pin. Right. So we are still shopping around. I think we're gonna get some treats to bring home. Like I want to bring this home. Very bad. I think I need to get it. Get it. I'm gonna get it. That's all the point. Look, it has all the perks on it. Okay. Oh, cute. Cute, isn't it? Love it. This is a definite. I think we have enough in there. We filled the basket. We managed to fill an entire basket of Disney merch, which is all great. So we took some final photos in front of the beautiful, beautiful castle. And now we are going to head into Fantasyland and hopefully ride maybe one or two rides, depending. We have about an hour before our dinner reservation at Be Our Guest, which I'm, of course, as I've said so many times, so excited about. Move your head from left to right if you love Disney World. So we have found one of our new favorite rides, and it's... The People Mover. It's like, so beautiful. The People Mover was great. We did, really quickly, The Little Mermaid, Buzz Lightyear, Cory beat me for the third time on our trip. Personal and best. Personal best. His last one was like 237,000 points. I had like 130,000, so he just absolutely kicks my butt every time at that game. But. We are now walking over to be our guest, which I have been looking forward to this for the entire trip. This is by far my most look forward to thing. So we are gonna take you guys along and show you the inside, what we're eating, and it's gonna be really, really exciting, and it's gonna be really, really good. So 
without further ado, be our guest. guest. Be our guest. We have made it into Beauty and the Beast Castle, which is absolutely incredible. It is so real in here. I cannot wait for dinner. So if you haven't heard of Beauty and the Beast, it's basically like a free fix. You get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. So we just got our soup, and Corey got the- Piping pot, okay. French onion soup. I got lobster bisque. Okay, let's try this. We just got our food and Corey ordered the lamb, which looks absolutely delicious. And I ordered the filet. Really good. We have dessert now. This is a lemon macaron. This is the gray stuff, which she said is almost like a cookies and cream mousse, which is gonna taste really good. And this is a dark chocolate strawberry mousse bomb. This cup is edible, so chip is edible. All right, let's do this. Was she yeah. right? Does it taste like cookies it and cream? It tastes like the inside of an Oreo with a little bit more cookies and cream. Wow. Yummy? Yeah? Oh, oh. Corey's really enjoying that macaron, so I'm gonna give it a try because they're really, really hyped up or it's not Okay, it's pretty good. I wouldn't put it up there with a the one authentically from Paris. But I would say, like, Right on last is the chocolate mousse bomb. Tastes like a chocolate mixed with strawberry jelly. I would rate that one probably my least favorite. It's a little bitter. I would say my favorite is by far the gray stuff. And it's edible. It's made of white chocolate. But we are gonna finish up dessert and I will catch up with you guys once we finish and enjoy the rest. We finished up at Be Our Guest and because we are at the park so late, we are basically the only ones left in the park, so it is so quiet, it's so beautiful. If you ever can get a reservation a half hour before a park close, you'll be able to leave the park when no one's here. That is going to be it for Magic Kingdom. On our Disney vacation this year, Magic Kingdom is by far my favorite park. Make sure if you have not already that you like, subscribe, and follow along on the rest of our journeys and adventures. Thanks again for hanging out with us today. Disney Day 4, tomorrow we are going to Hollywood Studios, which is gonna be another jam-packed, filled day. So we will see you all tomorrow. Thanks so much for being here.